Hi everybody, Reese Counts with Autoblog. Today we are here with the all new 10th generation 2018 Honda Accord. Honda's been building the Accord for decades and they really get the details right. The car feels really solid. Everything's placed really well. The more time I spend behind the wheel of the Accord, the more I really like driving it. It's not sports sedan sharp, but it's got a nice combination of good handling and great comfort. One of the biggest changes for 2018 is the loss of the V6. In its place is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder making 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. This is based on the same turbocharged two liter that's in the Honda Civic Type R. The base engine in the Accord is a 1.5 liter turbo. Uh, it's the same engine that's in the Honda Civic and the Honda Civic Si. In the Accord, it makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. I was afraid it was gonna feel taxed in a heavier, bigger car, but it really doesn't. It's not lightning quick, but it feels adequate. For the most part, it corners fairly flat. There's a bit of body roll, but it's expected for a car like this. The sport model, that we're in does not have the active dampers like the top level touring trims, but the standard fixed setup is perfectly fine. There's not much in the way of steering feedback, but that's kind of expected with a modern EPS system. It's quick and it's weighted well, which kind of makes up for that. There's enough there to give you confidence through a corner, and this torquey four cylinder really helps you pull it out. I think something like the Mazda 6 handles a little better and maybe a little more dynamically engaging, but the engine in that car is gutless and the six speed and this, all this torque, it's a lot of fun. Honda dropped the coupe body style for 2018, which kind of sucks, but nobody was buying them anyway. They do still have manual transmissions on both the entry and upgraded engines, and it's a Honda manual, so it's slick, it's short, feels really good. Nobody really buys Accords to be like a proper sports sedan, and it's still really not there, but having a manual when pretty much everybody else has given up on it is pretty commendable. Every new Honda Accord comes with the Honda Sense Active Safety Suite. It has active cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring. That's across the board, from the base, like LX 1.5 liter, all the way up to the two liter touring 10 speed automatic. This is a really big deal, as more and more people focus on like crash and safety standards. But for the most part, I really enjoy the way this thing drives. The 2018 model is wider, lower, but a little bit shorter than the outgoing car. The wheelbase is 2.1 inches longer, which really helps to like the proportions. It looks really good, but it gives a lot more rear seat room, and it also makes it a little more stable on the highway. You know, longer wheelbase, a little wider track, it's really super stable, even at pretty decent speeds. The top level touring trim on both the 1.5 and two liter models comes with a new adaptive damper system. This sport model doesn't have it, but it still rides pretty well. It's a little firm and I think with a smaller wheel it would be a lot better, but it's not terrible. Even over broken pavement, it handles the secondary motions really well and I've got really no complaints about the ride. I'm a big fan of the interior on the new Accord. Despite the dark trim, it's a lot more open and airy than some of the competition. Everything looks and feels really nice from the driver's seat. The heads-up display has tons of customization options. The digital instrument cluster is super crisp, and the steering wheel feels really, really nice in your hands with tons of controls and really nice feeling buttons. Like the rest of the 2018 Honda Accord, the steering rack is all new. It's not the best system I've ever used in a midsize sedan, but it's still pretty good. I like the weight, I like the size of the wheel, I like the shape of the wheel. The feedback is eh, middling, but you know, it's a modern EPS system, so you get what you get. The new infotainment system is better than any of Honda's previous efforts. They've reintroduced dedicated hard buttons and knobs for most of the controls. The center console on the new Accord is really, really well laid out. I think Honda does interior packaging better than anybody else. There's big cup holders, tons of cubbies, there's a wireless charging port, and tons of USB outlets. All the touch points look and feel really great. There's some silver trim accenting and livening up the black plastic. The action on the switches for the windows and the mirrors feels nice and heavy and pretty premium for a midsize sedan. The new power seats have a lot more adjustability than the outgoing model. I wish they had a bit more thigh support, but the bolstering is nice and comfortable without feeling squeezed. 
I'm six foot with long legs and the extra wheelbase means I can sit behind myself pretty easily. So I really believe this is the best Accord Honda's ever built. It's handsome both inside and out. It drives really well. Yes, the lack of naturally aspirated engines means you lose some of that traditional Honda character, but the two turbocharged four cylinders are no penalty. The fact that you can still get a manual transmission is commendable in this day and age. I'm really pleased with this, and if you're focused on flat out performance, something like the Ford Fusion Sport's likely a better option. But if you want something handsome, well-rounded, and still really fun to drive, I can't think of anything better than the 2018 Honda Accord.